Today's video, I want to show you guys my favorite crappie jig pattern ever. Um, hands down, this is what I fish with almost 90% of the time when I crappie fish. I do a lot of fly fishing, but this time of the year where I live, crappie hit huge. So I break off for about a month and I do a lot of crappie fishing. The materials you are going to need, you are going to need two different colors without the marabou <laughs> of cactus chanel. I use a green and I use a white for this pattern. I have baby blanket yarn that is striped from Hobby Lobby. It is green and white and yellow and whites in different variations. I make them in all of the colors. All of the colors work good. You are going to need a 1 32nd jig head and some thread and that's it. This thing is easy to tie fast and it is effective. So what I've done is I have a 1 32nd jig head that I have UV gel painted the head green. I like to have a green head on this. It's kind of a chartreuse green. On the shank of the hook, I'm going to put some super glue to hold my thread and base to where it's just a little bit more durable. Now my 30 second jig head is a smooth jig head. There is no lead protruding onto the shank of the hook. So I am going to put my thread wrap in. Tell you guys, this is a fast, fast, fast pattern to tie. And you talk about fishing. So now I am going to make this one out of the darker green piece. So I'm going to take and I'm going to tie on my dark green piece. When I tie it on, I'm going to bring my thread all the way back to where the barb of the hook is and then bring it back forward. Now I have a spot on my vise marked that I cut these at and it is three inches total length. So I have a three inch piece of this baby blanket yarn. When I cut that piece off, I'm going to singe the tail and that will keep it from fraying. Once I get that done, I take these two pieces of cactus chanel this is a dark green and a white cactus chanel that are the same colors as my pattern now when you make them with different patterns you'll use the colors that are the same as that so i'm going to tie these in and i'm going to bring these tie-in points right back to the barb of the hook like i did on the first one then i'm going to take these and take my fingers and hold them where i can keep them separate separate but together and I'm going to wrap them up the shank of the hook where it draws a line in them and stripes them just like the other material. Once I get to the top, double wrap my thread over twice, cut off, put a few wraps. I always use two whip finishes. Once I put my two whip finishes in, I'll cut it and head cement it. And that is the fishiest crappie jig I have ever used. Something about the colors and the contrast, this thing is just unbelievable success. So what makes it successful, in my opinion, is I have one right here in a jar. You see how that thing just floats. So that thing's been sitting in water since yesterday and that material is buoyant so it floats. So when you jig it up and down, that little tail just jumps up and down and stays buoyant. Tell you what guys, this is my favorite crappie jig. Hands down, I'll fish it over rubbers. I'll fish it over any kind of marabou jig. This is my go-to fly. If I am fishing with a jig, this is, I say fly, the jig of my choice. So I hope this helps and baby blanket yarn is a, a great resource for crappie jigs. So you can make it in all different kinds of colors. Um, hope this helps. See you in the next video.